I'm Dr. Marianne LaFrance, and I am professor of social psychology at Yale University. Human beings start smiling very early in life. One of the things that researchers have found is that babies in the womb are already smiling. Facial expressions on small children are genuine indicators of what they're feeling at the time. So when babies show a smile, you can pretty much depend upon the fact that it's associated with feeling good. Adults possess an incredible repertoire of smiles. We have polite smiles, social smiles, embarrassed smiles, conflicted smiles. One of the cultural truisms is that you'll feel better if you smile. If I adopt a smile, I may elicit more attention and closeness from others in my life. If you have a smile happening inside your body, let it out. Smile is very important, especially nowadays. You want to be approachable. It's a culture that everyone can share, and <laughs> it just speaks volumes. A person who smiles is more likely to be perceived as being likable, attractive, trustworthy, reputable. If you smile during an interview, you're more likely to get the job. Well, I hadn't heard that, but I'm happy I did. <laughs> I would have guessed that, actually. A smile gets you much farther. It really does. The smile may be the most useful way to open up connection, to repair connections that have gotten a little frayed. We connect with other people, feel close to other people, and have a sense that we're part of the world because we have the capacity to smile. Hey! Hi. <laughs>